Alasha Alasha Shang Tatlong Sashay ng Milo Alasha Shang Tatlong Sashay ng Milo Alasha Shang Tatlong Sashay ng Milo <laughs> Seryoso Ikaw titikaya mo. Ikaw! Ikaw na nga. Oo. Ikaw na. Tikman mo. Makakinawa ka para sa'yo. Kasi um, two words lang siya na sagot sa lahat ng tanong ng tao tungkol sa lasa, all good. Okay. Kumusta yung ambience, all, all good. good. <laughs> Kumusta yung taste, yung flavor, yung tao, yung service, it's all good. Oh. Plus yung inspired nun, inspiration yun from Romans 8, 20. All mm -hmm. things work together for good. So kinuha yung all and then good. All so it's, good. it's an all good experience. Okay. So kala nag-open yung all good milk? All good milk tea started in April 9, 2019. Mm -hmm. Araw ng kagitingan. Yes. So, tinapat namin dun sa holiday. holiday. Sir Herbie, dahil ang banggit ko nga kanina, you're into, uh, you're a wedding supplier, sabi ko nga. Paano ka biglang napunta sa milk tea business? Actually, mahilig talaga kami sa milk tea. Kami okay. ng asawa. Um, since fan kami ng milk tea, marami kami natikman. 
naniwala kami na pwede namin, we can come up with our own plan, our own signature, mm -hmm. and come up with something better that is not common dun sa available mm -hmm. sa market. Okay. Kasi dahil yung matamis, mm -hmm. minsan kulang sa tamis, minsan naman sobrang mamilky. Mm -hmm. So we want the right blend or flavor na gusto namin. I think so many people out there can relate na Ah, mahilig ako sa coffee, gusto ko ng coffee shop. Or, mahilig ako sa milk tea, gusto ko magkaroon ng milk tea shop. Gaano katagal, overall, yung naging planning, conceptualization, mm -hmm. and everything. Yung preparation, bago nabuo yung order. I think it took us about um, six months, se okay. seven to six months. Okay. Of, um, we prayed about it, we consulted different people, mm -hmm. kagawin ba namin to. And ayaw namin pasokin din yung dahil sikat ng milk tea, sasakay okay. tayo sa hype. Hype. Kasi yes. kung ang vision ng company is just for the hype, mawawala yung hype eh. So, okay. we, naniniwala muna kami dun sa brand. Mm -hmm. And then, gusto namin to. And kahit mawala yung hype, we know that this brand will remain. Kasi hindi siya dun na ka-accord. Okay. So, dun kami sa flavor, sa, sa lahat. Mm -hmm. Tapos, kami, gusto namin ginagawa namin na kami mismo personally involved dun sa product na hindi lang uh, iiwanan namin yung store kasi hindi na kami na tao. So kami very hands-on pagdating doon. Na parang naghanap ka lang na paglalak ka ng pera mo. Oo. Oh, parang gano'n. Oh, oh. Okay, so sir, can you walk us through, uh, lalo na yung mga millennials out there, gusto mong start na sa radio nilang business, you said, it took you six to seven months to prepare. Doon sa seven months, nag-benchmark kami ng mm -hmm. different healthy stores na gusto uh -huh. namin. So, tinikman din namin yung different best sellers ng different stores. Mm -hmm. And then we also studied and we went through um, seminars here in the Philippines and also we went to Taiwan for wow, okay. compare, to compare ano ba yung techniques, ano mm -hmm. ba yung flavors, ano ba yung patok sa Taiwan, bakit sikat sila doon and how it started. And then dito sa Philippines, ano ba yung mas gusto ng, ng market. So lahat yun pinag-aralan din namin. And then the, all the raw ingredients or materials are available here in the Philippines from Taiwan. Um, you said, nagpunta ka pa sa Taiwan, no? The land of the milk tea. Actually, pangarap ko pumunta sa Taiwan para lang mag-milk tea all day, every day, ganyan. Um, ano yung mga good practices or good points na napulot or nakuha mo sa pagpunta sa Taiwan? Sorry. Actually, sa Taiwan, napansin namin, mahilig sila sa raw, fresh, brewed tea. Uh, brew to order halos lahat. Do you have raw mats that came from Taiwan? Um, lahat ng materials natin dinosaurs up doon except for the milk cloud which is signature na all mm -hmm. plus the black uh, sugar or the kurumitsu na tayo din mm -hmm. Okay. So almost or most of your ingredients We can say 80% 80% of their ingredients source yan mm -hmm. sa Taiwan. Oh, pangarap ko talaga yun. Malay nyo next vlog ko na sa Taiwan na ako nagpipaste test na nyo. <laughs> Ayun. So, sa Taiwan sobrang dami. Sobrang Bawat dami. kanto. Bawat Sin, kanto talaga. Pagkalipat mo after 50 meters uh -huh. lang o 100 meters, meron na para, naman. Bawat kanto. So parang pampanga, no? Bawat parang kanto. Parang pampanga. Kasi ako, ah, parang gusto ko rin ng milk tea shop, pero saan naman too late na? It's never too late to start this kind of business. Uh -huh. Kasi uh, unang-una, you're serving something good uh -huh. na ikaw mismo you enjoy, you believe in the brand, and then alam mo na yung mga tao, they will come back for this product because it is uh, different from others. Okay. Ako naman ang masasabi ko doon, be it sa business or be it uh, sa milk tea or kung ano man, I think life in general, nag apply yun. Basta authentic ka. You don't have to think who came first, mm -hmm. sino yung sumun mga sumunod na lang, or kung ikaw ba yung new kid on the block. Basta you're authentic, you stay on your lane, wag mo masyadong isipin yung business ng iba. Mm. Kasi baka you're spending too much time thinking about other people. And then you have less time na lang thinking about your craft. So, yun. Tama Mas yun. focus ka lang dun sa sayo. Be authentic. And mag-focus ka dun sa sayo. Yun. Uh, next question. Paano ba kahirap mag-start ng sarili mong brand? Mahirap mag-start kasi uh, it's a big risk. Pag-aralan mo lahat, yung pera kailangan nandiyan, kabing mm -hmm. labon. Um, ang daming flavors na pagkiliin mo, tapos magagawa ka ng short list, mas maiksipang listahan ng flavors na gusto mo. Mm -hmm. Mahirap siya in a sense na 
um, you start from zero mm -hmm. and you are building a name from the ground from up. the ground up okay yun ang yun ang hindi mo alam kung will this work tatangkalikan ba ng tao to or baka hindi na sila babalik mm -hmm. kapag bilhin nila wala na hindi na sila hindi na masusunod kasi kapag hindi mo hindi na bumabalik sila sa unang beses na bumili ibig sabihin mm -hmm. hindi nila gusto or mabibili naman nila to sa tabi nila Let's talk about uh, marketing. Mm -hmm. So, first three months na yun, na pinupuntahan kayo ng mga tao, uh, dinadayo talaga kayo, ano yung mga marketing strategies na ginamit na? So, marketing strategy, effective pa din yung social media. Social media? Okay. Social media, so regular posting on social media, mm -hmm. meron kang, pag-aralan mo din analytics, like ano ba yung mataas ng traffic sa umaga, sa tanghali, sa gabi. Yes, very sa important in numbers. Uh, Regular ka mag-post, tapos mm -hmm. I take also photos of the customers, then I ask them, visit our page, I'll post this, you can mm -hmm. share and tag your friends. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the marketing strategy. Plus the word of mouth. Word of mouth. Yes. Yung, yung pa rin yung classic, effective uh, marketing strategy. Best form of advertising. Yeah. So word of mouth and social media talaga. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, nakita namin sila, uh, you know that, when we vlog about uh, the Giant Lantern Fest, nag parang na boot naman sila mm -hmm. dun sa Giant Lantern Fest na event. Now, let's talk about money, ang pinaka-aabangan ng mga tao. Um, syempre, hindi naman namin itata ng magkano yung nilabas mo na pera. Kasi, syempre, that's a great <laughs> secret. Bigyan mo lang kami ng ballpark figure. Uh, magkano ba yung kailangan namin ilabas para magkaroon kami na ganito. Actually, this one is Malaki kasi itong space mo na eh. Kumpara doon sa iba, iba pang to-go lang, diba? Mm -hmm. But this one is kind of big. Mm -hmm. So, magkano yung investment for a space like this? For a space like plus this, the plus the franchise na kung yun ang cost na gagamitin mo. Mm -hmm. I think you can prepare at least 1 million. 1 million with the construction. With the construction. Na. Everything. You can, Everything you can start already, yeah. run the business mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. with that amount. And also a few more uh, thousand pesos. Extra Sempre, money. Extra money to sustain the business for the next few months na hindi ka pa uh, kumikita. Ngayon, ang good news ko sa inyo is All Good Milk Tea pala is now open for franchise. Mm. Hindi sila nag-offer ng franchise pero may nag-offer na i-franchise sila. So uh, Herbie, please tell us that story. Former clients in a smart person. Nagtataka ako, pabalik-balik, pabalik-balik sila. Tumigil uh, sila palagi. Uh, sana nga daw, open for franchise. That's part of the vision of the company. Mm -hmm. We see the all good milking store in different cities. cities. Expansion. Expansion, expanding, growing. After six months na nag starting store, nag-sign na sila ng contract. In detail, let's talk about everything that's included dun sa franchise. So, yung brand use. So, yung the, the brand use of all good milking, trademarks. Plus the ingredients, the the flavor, the mix, the training, um, start up na na mga ingredients sa kailangan mo from cups to uniform to, to flavor and mixes part yun ng ng franchise natin. So out of that franchise, uh, meron don almost 50% of the cost would already go to the the buffer fund or parang prepared mo na na the product sa pwede mong ibenta. Stocks. Uh, the stocks. Uh, so, ayun naman pala. Wala ka na masyadong iisipin. Hindi mo na kailangan pumunta ng Taiwan. Uh, Uno sa lahat para mag-aral-aral kung ano yung mga flavor ng milk tea gusto mo doon. Saka wala ka nang worry kung papatok ba itong flavor na to Wala mm -hmm. na hit and miss process. Wala na yung mga waste ng ingredients dahil nag nagtatrial uh -huh. and error ka. Mm -hmm. So, na-skip na yun. Uh -huh. Alam mo na yung bumibenta sa tao. Mm -hmm. Tapos, Confident ka din na kapag meron kang questions, mayroon kang lalapitan, tatanungin kasi yeah. part of the contract na alagaan natin yung brand. Mm -hmm. So, pagtutulong-tulongan yung brand para hindi siya masisira sa market. Kanina pa natin si Sir Herbie na ditinig na very proud of their flavors. No? Then, let's talk about the flavor. All in all, how many flavors do you have now? Uh, so, mga kids and uh, kids at heart na familiar with Starburst na candy. It's abroad kasi yung Starburst dito. Last and Starburst daw. Sige nga, tingnan mo. Dapat 45 degrees na. Okay, with ano din siya ha? With clouds sa uh, taas. So, sa kabawin lang. 
Mmm. Masarap siya. Masarap yung mixture nilang lahat. Mm. Tapos, matamis siya, pero hindi siya umay. Um, ano lahat ng original flavors niyo muna? We have muddy puddles. Muddy puddles. Inspired by Peppa Pig. Yeah. And then? Uh, black milk. Black milk. Black okay. milk. Uh, black milk, banana, honeydew, um, red fruit tea, and starburst. Tapos yung black milk with black coffee and milk flour. Okay. Ngayon, uh, Sir Herbie sends nine months na si uh, August. Uh, at this point, ano pa yung mga vision mo pa na gusto mo pang mangyari for August? Aside from expansion. We want to um, add more, not only flavors, but the presence of coffee as well. Mm -hmm. Yun, as I have mentioned, gusto ko na magkaroon ng espresso, mm -hmm. um, uh, French press coffee, uh -huh. um, latte art, na mga pwede natin i-serve, mm -hmm. hot drinks as okay. well, plus food as well that we can serve, like sandwiches, okay. or uh -oh. cake, or pastries. Mga. In general, sir, ano yung tips mo sa mga nagsastart ng business nila? Mapaano man yung business nila? Kung ano man ang business na papasukin, una-una, huwag kang maiinip. <laughs> Pagka mainit kung hindi pa ganun kadami yung customers or parang feeling mo ang bagal-bagal ng takbo ng negosyo. Okay. Pangalawa, you really have that faith. Believe that God brought you to that place where you can grow and this business as an opportunity mm -hmm. where you can become a blessing to other people as well. Wow. So, maniwala ka na this business will grow. Kasi kung sa umpisa pa lang, duda ka na kung lalago itong negosyo to, all throughout the business, duda ka. Oh, nga. Dapat maniwala ka na you see this business growing and you see this business expanding. Mm -hmm. That because that is how you see yourself in the future. See, it's important. It's important that you have that clear picture of yourself five years, ten years from now. Kasi kung wala, hindi mo na ikita yung sarili mo na nag, eh, nag enjoy ka sa ginagawa mo at lumalago yung negosyo mo. So you have to see that picture first of you becoming successful and everything else will follow. Yun, I'd like to take this opportunity for, uh, I'd like to thank Aunt Christine and Isaac for coming to the store and visiting us despite your busy schedule. So we'd like to invite you to try our signature drinks like Black Milk, Muddy Puddle, and the now um, well-loved drink which is our coffee uh, over ice. We use cold brew for that drink. Okay. Paano naman kung gusto na rin nilang mag-franchise pala after watching this video, uh, paano ka nila kukontakin? Yun, you may uh, visit our Facebook page and Instagram page. That's both mm -hmm. All Good Milk Tea. And you can send us a private message there where we can give you um, the email address and contact number plus um, other details that you'll be needing for the franchise. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. After watching this video, if you have further questions, don't be shy na mag-comment lang kayo down below and sasagadin pa rin namin. May follow, magpa-follow ka pa ako. Ganyan ba yun? Yes, comment down below. Subscribe kayo guys. Bye! Thanks for watching! All good. All good. <laughs>